Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your third HTML tutorial. In the last two tutorials, we learned how to set up a basic HTML web page using opening and closing tags, as well as some tags that don't actually require an opening or closing, that they're just by themselves. And we also learned uh, what HTML is, um, and as well as how to add some text and space it out on the page. So in this tutorial, I figured we're going to continue with the text, but this time, instead of learning how to space it out, we're going to learn how to apply some different attributes to it uh, and just format it in ways that you might want to do when you're creating a web page. So I've already uh, created um, a new HTML document called Tutorial 3, and I've saved it to my desktop just so it's easier to find. And uh, I've already also opened it up in Firefox. Um, so if you don't know how to save a web page or create an HTML web page, all you need to do is um, just check in the previous two videos and I go over it there. Um, so the first thing we're going to do in this document is set up our HTML tags. Um, remember we're going to use our opening and closing tags here. And we're also going to include our head tags, both opening and closing. And within those we're going to put a title. In this one, I'm just going to call it formatting text. And then we're going to include our bodies, which is where we're going to include our text and all of our formatting information in, in the future pictures and stuff like that. So what we're going to want to do in uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over a couple of the more basic uh, formatting things. We're going to learn how to use the font tag as well as some basic uh, formatting tags like bold and italic and stuff like that. So uh, let's just create a line of text here and we'll call it, this is a line of text. And we'll save that and open it up right here in Firefox. And as you can see, we have this as a line of text. There's no formatting, no paragraph tags or anything like that. It's just a simple line of text. So in order to make that bold, what we're going to do is we're going to enclose it in a set of um, bold tags, which is just the letter B in some brackets. And we're also going to need a closing bold tag because this can be used to enclose just one word or a couple sentences, whatever you want to enclose. Uh, and if you leave off the ending tag uh, in a bunch of these tags like bold, italic, strike through, everything after the beginning bold tag or whatever tag you're using will be will be have that attribute applied to it. So it's very important to include the ending tag here. So if we save this and then go on over to Firefox, refresh, you'll notice that the whole line of text is bold. And just as an example here, we're going to add a space and we'll say this is a second line of text. Save it and come over here and refresh. Uh, you'll notice that this isn't bold because we came over here and we had closed this tag. Let's say we forgot to close this tag by accident. Uh, you'll see what happens is that this also becomes bold and any text that we add underneath uh, will also become bold. So it's very important to uh, close your tags here. So let's say for example we want only uh, the letter text to be bold. So what we're going to do, all we need to do is move this to right before text and there we go we have uh, just the letter or the word text rather is bold in the period too because we included that um, so this is good if you just want to enclose something for emphasis um, you know stuff like that so the another tag we're going to learn about is italic which is very similar to bold it's just the letter I and again a closing I so if we come over here and look at it you'll notice that this is a, this is italic this line isn't and just like with bold, if we leave off the closing tag by accident, uh, both lines of text in any subsequent lines will also be bold, or italic rather. So it's again, it's important to have a closing tag. Another tag that, you, that we can learn about is the strike through tag, which is just strike and closing strike. And this is what this looks like: is that uh, it just crosses out some text. So if you were going to make a joke or something, you could be like, my name is, we'll say Bob, and then that's struck, struck out, and we'll say Jamie. So there you go, we, we say that someone accidentally wrote the wrong name, or someone's playing joke or something, and crossed out Bob, or we could say J, but instead we put Jamie. So just stuff like that you can use it for, um, use it for crossing off things, whatever. Uh, so we'll add this is a line of text. And we're back to our regular plain uh, text without any formatting. So uh, let's see what else. I'm going to show you how to change the color 
of this next, but let me just go over here and show you. On the w3schools.com website, there's uh, actually a bunch of HTML, CSS, XML, JavaScript, stuff like that. A bunch of different tutorials that you can look at, and one of them is how to format text, and uh, they include all types of different tags that you can use. Um, you can use big, emphasize, it's italic, small, strong. Uh, you can use sub for subscripts and superscripts. Uh, superscript for that. Uh, and then you can just use all these right here, and these all will change the look. So if you want to check that out, uh, the link's right here. Uh, or you can just go to w3schools.com. And they have some great tutorials there as well. So um, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to color text. And uh, one way to do that is to use the font tag, which looks like this font, and then you can either choose type equals, or you can choose color equals. And for the sake of this, we'll say red. And uh, that's basically it. This right here is an attribute within the tag. So the font tag is just the basic tag. And this right here is the attribute in the tag. So when you set this up, you're going to want to have an equal sign and then the color of the text. You can also use hex color symbols. Um, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's hex color chart. Uh, it's basically just using numbers, um, hexadecimal numbers, so from 1 to 9 and then A through F uh, to create different colors. So th this is basically a hex color chart and it includes all types of colors that you can use and you just enter these numbers in. So let's say we want this color right here. would enter 0099FF. So let me show you that. So you'd actually enter in a pound sign to indicate that you're using hex 0099FF. And uh, just like any other tag, a font tag requires a closing tag, but you don't need to close you don't need to close the attribute, just the font tag itself. So this right here is good at setting it up, and then you're just saying to end this. So let's say we want to have, uh, we'll set this up on, above this one here. So font color equals pound sign 0099FF. And then we close that off there like that. Um, and it's also important to have these uh, quotation marks. Um, though you don't necessarily need them, they might, the tag might still work without it. Uh, it's always just good practice to put them in, because in other languages, like PHP and JavaScript, the quotation marks, uh, they kind of come in handy and are kind of useful. So um, if, you, and if you don't have them in those languages, there might be an error uh, or something like that. So it's always important to have those. But anyway, you may always remember to have a closing font tag, because like with uh, the, at the other attributes, the formatting attributes like bold and italic, without this, anything underneath it would be bold, or the color that we chose. So let's save this and go over here. Then you'll notice that this color right here is the color that we chose in the color chart right here. And that's because we use the hex color code for that. Um, we can also just say if we wanted to red. Oop, yep, come on over here, and that would be red. And again, if we left off this tag inadvertently, everything would be red. So it's always important to close your tags. And another thing that you can do is you can actually nest your tags. So let's say you want to have a red font in a bold word. All you need to do is come in here and do something like that. Apply your bold tags just to the word you want bold, and the word will be bold. And you can also italicize stuff as well. So let's say we want to have the whole sentence italics with a red font with one word that's bold. You can do that as well, but just make sure your tags are kind of in the order. You close them in the order you open them, um, if that makes sense. So the font tag is going to appear on the outside, italic next to that, and then bold like that, just so it's kind of everything's kind of even and equal and uh, closed off in the right spaces. So if we open that up, you'll notice that that's all, it's red text like we applied with one word bold and everything's italic, including the bold word. So it's just, uh, and this line of text right here isn't affected. Um, but if we forgot to close one of the tags that we have here, like let's say the italics tag, we come over here to our page, you'll notice that this line is italic but still black because we closed off the other tags and there's no bold in this this line because we closed off the uh, bold tags and font tag, but we just inadvertently left off the italic tag. So it's always good to include your closing tags. So uh, there's other things you can do. You can change the font type if you want to, um, to Times New Roman, let's say you wanted to, Arial, Comic Sans, stuff like that, whatever font you want. Um, and you can learn more about this online if you just Google HTML font types. Um, but that's pretty much how to change the color and some attributes of the forms. Remember, you can always just Google something, like the hex color chart, you have a particular color you want. And uh, W3Schools also has a bunch of information if you want to. Uh, another website, by the way, when we're here, is Tizag. 
youtube.com and they have a bunch of HTML tutorials that you can use as well if you want more information. And they also have other tutorials like PHP, CSS, JavaScript, Perl. And just uh, there's lots of things out there online that you can use. Um, so feel free to check those out. Feel free to play around with this and spacing text and whatnot. And um, if you haven't learned how to do all that, you can always check out my previous videos. And there's other great videos out there as well. And uh, thanks for watching.